Look, it cannot be seen. It is beyond form. Listen, it cannot be heard. It is beyond sound. Grasp, it cannot be held. It is intangible. These three are indefinable. Therefore, they are joined in one. From above, it is not bright. From below, it is not dark. An unbroken thread beyond description. It returns to nothingness, the form of the formless, the image of the imageless. It is called indefinable and beyond imagination. Stand before it, and there is no beginning. Follow it, and there is no end. Stay with the ancient Tao, move with the present. Knowing the ancient beginning is the essence of Tao. This was my introduction to the Taoist philosophy of Lao Tzu. The oneness in the universe amid the multiplicities is something that I deeply feel and seek to convey in my work. My art expresses my ongoing exploration of the similarities between Eastern philosophy and the meditative experience of mystical truths, as well as the latest theories in physics and cosmology. I majored in philosophy when I was in college, and I became interested in Taoism and Buddhism in the 1960s amid the human potential movement. I was introduced to physics when I read Larry LaShawn's book, The Medium, The Mystic, and The Physicist. And then, a few years later, Fritz Hochapra's book, The Tao of Physics. Both resonated with me as well as most of Eastern philosophy, and it has informed my work since. For the Eastern mystic, all things and events perceived by the senses are interrelated. Everything around us, trees, sky, rock, water, consists of molecules and particles and atoms that are constantly engaged in a glorious cosmic dance, creating, destroying, annihilating, and creating again. The Earth's atmosphere is bombarded by showers of cosmic rays, particles of high energy undergoing multiple collisions as they penetrate the air. I strive in my paintings to create this flux in the atmosphere of everything growing and expanding, and as they've shown most lately, an expanding universe that is not only expanding but accelerating at the same time. We know that there's dark matter and there's dark energy. They use dark to indicate that they have no knowledge of it. And perhaps this energy is what the Eastern mystics called the Tao. Under heaven and earth, all can see beauty as beauty only because there is ugliness. All can know good as good only because there is evil. Therefore, having and not having arise together. Difficult and easy complement each other. Long and short contrast each other. High and low rest upon each other. Voice and sound harmonize each other. Front and back follow one another. Therefore, the sage goes about doing nothing, teaching no talking. The 10,000 things rise and fall without cease, creating yet not possessing, working yet not taking credit. Work is done, then forgotten. Therefore, it lasts forever. I strive to reconcile the divergences and complementary opposites in my paintings. Western society 
in paying attention to differences ignores relationships. The Eastern mystic experienced the total relationship in the universe. The individual is so woven with everything. Everything is totally connected. My flux space paintings very much describe my attempt to paint suggest the universe, multiverse in flux. I see the cosmos as one inseparable reality, forever in motion, alive, spiritual, and material at the same time.